Each and every one of us has the right to dream of a better life. And more important to that, we have the right to make together our dreams come true. With great joy, more than a year ago, we started the Dorchester Post. And now, after hundreds of posted stories, I have to confess that it has been tough. Even though Dorchester is a wonderful place, the most diverse neighborhood in New England, full of honest people, lovely and hardworking, during this time, we were able to understand that there is a great difference between the local reality and how this local reality is reflected outside. We have experienced firsthand that there is still an oppression against minorities, against people with low income, and especially against the individuality. This is an oppression on the pro that is based on the promotion of divisiveness, the perpetuation of negative stereotypes, and the exaltation of violence. This could change. This must change. And the efforts of the media should be focused on the enlightenment of the people, not in the evilness and the darkness. There is a million times more good than evil in the world. In Comunicas and the Dorchester Post, we will persist doing a neighborhood-focused love journalism, working together with neighbors to help them build a better Dorchester and from here, a better world. So thank you.